We now welcome UFC lightweight Jamie Malarkey. Jamie, thank you for the time today, sir. Thank you. We will take the first set of questions from Keith Schillen with Sherdog. Hey, Jamie, how are you? Good, mate. Uh, first question I'm going to ask you, the same question I just asked your opponent. Uh, going back to your last fight, I thought you won. A lot of people thought you won. Do you still believe you won? Uh, I do. Like I've, I've kind of put it behind me now because <clears throat> there's no point talking about it, but uh, I believe I won, and I, I think the majority of people that saw that fight believe I won as well. Sure. I think that's a good attitude to put it behind you. Um, that said, you, you, you want to learn so the next time it goes to judges, you get your hand raised. What have you learned so when you're in a close fight like that that you'll win? A hundred percent. The biggest learning uh, curve of that fight was just giving that little bit of more incentive to uh, finish the fight. Don't don't let it go in the hands of these judges because um, it's just that some, sometimes you just get the the wrong end of a bad call. <clears throat> yeah. Now let's talk about your your opponent this Saturday, Kamworthy. How do you feel that you match up with him? I think I match up really well with him. Um, it's going to be a tough fight, I know that. And I think I'm that little bit more versatile. I think I've got a little bit uh, more well-round skill set. Um, but it's going to be a cracker. And uh, like I said, styles make fights. And I think this, this is going to be a, a really good matchup for me. Sure. Uh, and my last question is, what is your official prediction for the fight? Uh, a second-round finish. <laughs> Good luck to you, sir. Thank you. We'll take our next set of questions from Gavin Porter with UFC.com. That's me, Ben. I'm just, just still look right here. Sweet. So, first of all, I know a lot of people are very excited to see you back in, in action here. What's it What's it been like for you to get to the United States and, you know, get through the COVID protocols and get ready to fight this? Uh, it's been it's been tough, man. These uh, This COVID, like... Uh, out of all the obstacles that you have to get over to make a fight, you got to make the weight, you got to train without injury, you got to get to the fight healthy. But this is just another obstacle. So uh, we've been lucky. I'm, I'm counting my lucky stars that uh, everything's going okay for me, and uh, we'll be ready on Saturday night. Yeah, when there's that much kind of you know adversity in the lead to the to the fight, you know, just things you're kind of hyper aware of. Does that take away from preparation though, or are you still still able to kind of come in with a clean mindset? No, nah, the mindset never changes. The, the my eyes are on the prize uh, at all times. It's just um, another another little hurdle that you have to overcome. For for fans that have never seen you, you know, what what do you pride yourself in as a fighter? Like, what what do you want to be known for? What you bring to the art? Uh, I pride myself on my work ethic and my excitement. Uh, I've got an exciting fight style, um, which we'll, we'll show on Saturday night. Yeah, and, you know, Kama's kind of the same. He kind of made a splash in his debut. Uh, short notice fight gets knocked over to Bobby Smith. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, now he kind of has his first setback, but he's still a guy that people have their eyes on as a prospect. Do you think the chance of, you know, you potentially getting some of his hype will benefit you going forward in 2021? Uh, I'm not really thinking about that. <laughs> I'm thinking about me. Uh, so maybe it will. Uh, if it does, all good. But it's more the, the, the fight that I'm focused on. All right. And last one for me is, you know, if you walked in there, and what kind of performance would you be proud of? What do you want to display in terms of your skills and what you possess on Saturday? I want to leave something that's going to make the fans uh, be remembering my name, um, which... That's that's always the plan for me. I, I want to finish the fight in devastating fashion. Great, man. We can't wait to see you in action. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jamie. That looks like all the questions we had for you, sir. We appreciate it. Sweet. Mm -hmm.